Hello, Fran. Yeah, who am I speaking to? This is Van. Van? Yes, Van Williams. Van Williams? Yeah, long time. I know. I have been very busy. I know. Long time, my brother. Where have you been? I'm sorry. I know I have not been a very good friend. America! How you are doing well for yourself, my brother? How? How did you get my number? Yeah, I got your number on Facebook. I know now, from Facebook. <laughs> when are you coming back? Okay, uh, 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 I will be in Nigeria next week. And I thought to just check on you. In a week's time? That is lovely. Good, good, good. Oh, can you help me with an hotel reservation? Hotel reservation for what? How long are you spending in Nigeria? A week? Come home. Come home! I, I, I'll host you, don't worry. Are you sure? No, 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 I don't want to be a bother, I don't. An hotel would be just fine. Are you for real? Just a few days. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Trust me to bring some goodies for you, trust me. Okay, I'll call you before next week, so I'll update you with, you with my flight plans. I will host you. That is it. I'll be expecting your call. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. My love, oh, that was, that's, that, that's my friend, my long lost friend. He's Val, he stays in America and will be coming to the country in the week's time. Have I met him before? No, you haven't. He's my long lost friend. I actually told him to come. See, instead of wasting money in hotels. Wait. You ask somebody you've not been in contact with for so long to come over to our place, does that make sense to you? My lord, that will not be an issue. Come and stop. You asked him to come over. Wait, I don't, I don't get you. You don't even ask me. You don't ask before you ask him to come over. Instead of him wasting money, we have a comfortable place here. He can come and stay with us. He is a nice person, you will like him. Don't worry, everything is fine. Eh? Whatever. My lord. Come oh, now. <laughs> Every little thing you get angry. Mm -hmm. eh? Are you not my baby again? No. Come to daddy. Eh? What do we have for dinner? Hello, Electra. What's up? I'm good. Yeah, Jasper just called me now to tell me the girls have arrived. Oh, the girls have arrived? So you go meet him at the landmark, get the girls, clean them up and do the needful. Okay, boss. 
Trust me, I'll give them a good makeover. Okay. Um, just I'll be giving five thousand dollars for me. Collect the money and I'll collect it when I see you. Oh, Jasper. Five thousand dollars. Okay. Okay, I trust you. I'll keep it for you. Trust me, boss. Now, <laughs> I'll keep it for you. Okay then. Talk to you later. Okay, boss. Thank you. Welcome to Nigeria, Van. You must be Cynthia. Yes, I am. His wife. Wow. <laughs> Good to finally meet you. Uh, and I'm very sure you must be tired after a long flight. Tired? Is it just a tired? Tired is an understatement. I am exhausted. All I want right now is a cold shower and I hit the bed afterwards. No, bro. You're not hitting the bed. After eating, then you can hit the bed. Sezu, mm. I am tired. I am exhausted. I want that cold shower and it's bed straight up. No, my wife spent the whole day preparing that meal. My brother, you will eat today. I'm tired. No worry. Oh, okay, fine. Would you like to take a drink like tea, coffee, champagne, no wine? Okay, if you insist. Coffee is fine then. Oh, good. <laughs> Let me show you to your room. Let's go, bro! <laughs> Welcome home! Yeah. Mr. Van, please don't sleep off while I make your coffee. Thanks for the hospitality. You guys are the perfect host. You have been showing me around for three days now and everywhere has really changed. This country has changed. I can barely remember the directions for anywhere. <laughs> it's a pleasure to host you. And once again, thank you so much for all the gifts you bought for us. Really appreciate it. The gifts? That's nothing. So, I was thinking, um, I was thinking maybe we can hang out at the beach on Sunday. Perfect. I like that. <laughs> you know, my wife and I really need some refreshment. That's true. We need it. It has been work and nothing but work. We really need the time out. Okay, you know what? I'll start making preparations for Sunday. You should do that. You should do that. <laughs> Ladies are goofs. What? Like you don't love to ball too? You can say that again. <laughs> Van has been here for more than three months. And Frank isn't complaining. He's not talking. He's, he's not complaining. He seems a bothered. From few days vacation to four months in my house. Ha. Wait, calm down. Like you really need to calm down. Calm your nerves. You got me, baby. You got me. It's not funny. I know it's not funny, but what do you want to do? I'm a woman. I'll be looking for a way to cover my room because of guests that refuse to leave. I know. I know. Calm down. I don't know if you will accept my offer as a help to you. I really want to 
easy. I really want to help you find a solution to this problem because you are acting like it's a problem already. So can you let Van move to my place? And Wait. I accommodate him as long as he lives. Leave, please. Ah, are you chasing me out? How? I was just trying to help a friend. Please go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But don't forget to think about it. Baby, when you get home, give a call. Leave. Bye. Besides, I'm not here for Cynthia, I'm here for you. Oh, really? Yes. Cynthia told me you always bored at home. That's why I said I should come to say hi. Wow. Oh, um, you know what? I'm always bored. So maybe you can show me around town sometime. What do you think about that? You've been six months here. Anyways, that's not the problem. Hi. I will show you around the world. You don't mean it? Yes, babe. Okay, um, you know what? Around the world, you say? Around the world. Around the world. Around the world. Around the world. The world. Please, can I have your phone, please? What for? Please. Okay. As your lordship pleases. Give me a call anytime you feel bored that you want me to take you around the world. Nothing wrong. But I'm very sure God will answer your prayers. Trust me. All you have to do is to be steady first. Be steady first, baby. I'm sure everything will be fine in no time. Debbie, I tell you what you are the one telling her this. I have told her to always have faith. Faith is all you need. Eh? Don't complain being bothered. Why? Regardless of everything, you know I will always love you. Babe, I know you love me. And you know I love you too. Even though when the sky is grey, I will continue to love you. But so you know it's so easy, I'm trying. My love for you is unlimited. Seasons may come and it will go. But my love for you will always remain the same. Please, just be calm. Frank. Mm. 
I'm seeing that intoxicates you like tequila. I'm jealous anyways. That's why she's my wife. You can go find yourself a man. Go and get yourself a man. Excuse me? <laughs> so ladies, who wants some pizza? I want. You do? Yes. Let me order some then. Foodie. Bye. Bye, Lou.
My love, I am deeply sorry. I I'm sorry for not making it to your birthday. You know, you know, you know my work. Please. I'm very, very sorry. Please. Hmm? I'm not in the mood, please. I'm not in the mood. Just leave me, please. I said I'm sorry. Eh, please, that was why I came with this, so I can make it up for you. Please, my love. Please. Hmm? Please come and eat cake. Please. Oh, my darling love. Hmm? This is for you, my love. I missed you. Hmm? in a moment. The size is nothing new. Can you hear yourself? It's nothing new. What about truth? Loyalty, dignity. Ah, oh, God. Good people make mistakes. It's part of life. Sometimes life has different flavors. Don't you get it? Sometimes people need to taste different flavors. Please. Don't let me feel as if I've done something good. I'm a terrible person. Oh, you are. You are a terrible person. Then kill yourself. Huh? Yes, kill yourself. Anyways, I was a fantasy. What level did you take it to? <laughs> Cynthia, bad girl, bad guy. Don't give me that look, please. <laughs> Hello, Frank. Hello? Yeah, this is me. Right, right. You're right, boy. Okay. How you doing? We are doing great here in America. How's Nigeria go? So we read a lot of shit about Nigeria. Well, Frank, I decided to call you because of one particular post I saw on your page. Yeah. I saw a picture. Yeah, the post you did with one guy called Van. And how do you know that guy? Your friend? No, it can't be, Frank. It can't be. That guy is a fucking criminal. Yeah, that guy is a criminal. I mean, he's being wanted here in America for for fraudulent cases, human trafficking to mention, but few. The FBI after him, the CIA is after him. Van, you know you're a nice dude, you know? Yeah, I got your message. Yeah, I need your services. I mean, there's a party coming up. I need some nice, cute-looking girls, like seven of them. Seven? You know, one of them booty, busty, you know? Here it is. I mean, poopory. Here it is. Trust me to deliver the best girls. Don't worry, I'll get them ready for you. 
But I need to get an alert. I need to get my money first. Don't worry, this time around I'll make you very happy. I'll make it up to you. In normal account, right? Okay, no problem. Let me get the alert. You're not serious. I'm gonna do it, trust me. I want the girls to be with you. Getting high catching boots. I trust you. Don't worry. You'll feel me soon. No problem. See you then. Business is booming! Booming! Yeah, we have another for tonight. Oh, we have another? Beautiful girls. Wow, this is good. The sexy ones. The best girls. <laughs> Trust me now. The best and sexy girls are available. Okay, so I'm going to text you the address while you get the girls ready. Okay, you can send me the address. Okay, I trust you. Yeah, the client's address, so I can start preparing, you know, the best and good-looking girls for you. You know I like them now. Tall, you know, short, busty. <laughs> All right, boss. All right. You hear from me soon. Thank you. Talk to you later. Van, I'm all ears. Look, Van, uh, I must be sincere with you. I'm not satisfied. Mm, don't give me that. Don't. You know, I didn't joke with my money. You know what I'm capable of? The girls you brought to your low class girls. I mean, they are not clean girls like you used to bring to me. You know, I will not hesitate to crush you. My clients were not satisfied with their performances, you know? And as a matter of fact, I'm not going to pay for this particular service. 
This was not our agreement. This was not. I'm not going to pay for this particular services. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe next time when you bring in clean babes, I mean, of decent girls, I'm going to pay. My clients refuse to appreciate what I brought to them. By the way, I even annoyed with me. No, 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 no. This was not our agreement. Send me my money. All right, Van. You know what? I'll see what I can do, but I'm not going to pay you like you think in this particular deal. Next time, bring me clean babes, I mean solid babes, presentable ladies, not these ones that, uh, 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 I mean, I saw, I, I, should I call it like that, I, I saw. Are you stupid? Wait till I catch you in the city. Wait till I fuck you up in the city. You know me too well. Can you imagine? Can you bring me such? Get it, girls, and Hello, boss. I'm quite disappointed. How? The client complained bitterly. I specified what the client ordered and you sent the opposite. What do you mean? I want to have you destroy my business. I've built this business through the years through hard work and, and pain. I'm so sorry, boss. I'm so, so sorry. You're sorry? What do you mean you're sorry? I promise I'll make corrections. I'll definitely make corrections. You know what? Okay, sir. I'm so sorry once again. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Hello? Just power us up. There's a big problem. Yeah, there's a big problem. What do you mean? Some of your girls have been arrested. What? I've started talking. I mean, after some one or two touch on from the, the, the CIEs and all the stuff, they started talking. What? <sighs> Mimi. Yeah, Mimi. In particular, has started talking. The cops have arrested Nancy. And Mimi? You mean the girls have started talking? And what I want you to do, and they are coming after you if you want to hear the truth. Damn it! They are coming for me? The cops are coming for me? Find your way out. Find your way out. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I have the information that they are coming after you. You have to act fast. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the information. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll sort myself out. Thank you. Good luck to you. Be wise, baby. <sighs> what the hell? No, 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 no. How often do you see him? Stays with you? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Look, you have to quit that guy. You have to quit him very fast. 
Yeah, because they are going to come after him very soon. No, I don't want you in trouble, Frank. I know you are not a troubleshooter. I don't want you in trouble. You have to quit that guy and very fast. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I trust you to do that. Say me hi to your wife. Thank you very much. All right. I'll give you a shout out later. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Something I want to tell you. Oh, you know what? I also have something I want to tell you. Oh. I will be moving out of your house tomorrow. I bought a mansion at Forbes Villa Estate. You got a mansion? Yes, I did. Really? How did you do that? I'm not broke. What do you mean? I'm financially buoyant. A mansion is nothing to me. So thanks for your hospitality. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so what is it you want to tell me? Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Forget about that. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Um, you know what? I'll see you later. Let me quickly do one or two. Okay. 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 Enjoy yourself.
babe. Hmm? When are you going to get me those stuff now? I told you already that I will get them for you. But first, I'm changing your car. Really? Yes, no. <laughs> Oi. Oh, look who we have here. Hello. Thank you. Oh. You have a guest? Yes, I have a guest. Babe! Babe! Come here. <laughs> Uncle Frank meets Van, my fiance. Your what? My fiance! He's not good for you. He is irresponsible. He lies. He steals. He cheats. To crown it all, he is a criminal. He's a changed man. He's perfect for me, regardless. Besides, he is your husband's friend. So you should know I'm in good hands. You are not in good hands. As a matter of fact, you are in wrong hands. I will not allow you to marry Van. Not Van. Definitely not Van. My dear, I will advise you listen to your sister. Van was my friend. He is bad news. It's better you look for somebody else. Not Van. <laughs> I... I think it's too late. Hmm? Yes. Yes. It's definitely too late because I'm pregnant. Huh? She's pregnant. You can't be pregnant now. Uh huh. Telling you. What are you telling me? Oh, I should stop loving a man because of your own comfort. We're talking about comfortability here. Huh? Rather than saving you from marrying a criminal. <laughs> criminal, you say? Okay, why are you calling me murderer? Call him a kidnapper. Whatsoever. I am getting married to him and nothing is stopping that. Not even you, sister. Are you talking back at me? Not when I'm alive.
What was that? So I you can switch it like this. That is the DNA test of your son, Sabi. Your wife here has been sleeping with your friend, Van, when he returned back from America. That is the main reason why she has been insisting that I'm not going to get married to Van. Which is not going to work! Terika, are you mad? Babe, no, don't mind her. Shut up, Cynthia. You called me six years ago when I was in Ghana. That you cheated on your husband and you cannot forgive yourself. <laughs> you think I'll not be able to figure out the baby is from your illicit affair? Derrica, you are evil! Babe, no. Shut up, Cynthia! How dare you? You slept with Van? Welcome, bro. <laughs> you have a beautiful space here. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to Nigerian van. You must be Cynthia. Yes, I am. His wife. Wow. <laughs> Good to finally meet you. Uh, and I'm very sure you must be tired after a long flight. Tired? Is it just a tired? <laughs> tired is an understatement. I am exhausted. All I want right now. It's a cold shower and I hit the bed afterwards. No, bro, you're not hitting the bed. After eating, then you can hit the bed. Sezu, mm. I am tired. I am exhausted. I want that cold shower and it's bed straight up. No, my wife spent the whole day preparing that meal. My brother, you will eat today. I'm tired. No way. Oh, okay, fine. Would you like to take a drink like tea, coffee, champagne, no wine? Okay, if you insist, coffee is fine then. Oh, good. <laughs> Let me show you to your room. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Welcome, bro. Yeah. Mr. Van, please don't sleep off while I make your coffee. I promise I won't. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 